What's going on guys and welcome back to Upper Left RC. Today we're going to be running the Atlas 6x6. Now I'm not a huge 6x6 guy, but this truck is pretty cool. We're going to see how it does on the course. Being a 16 scale, it's probably pretty big for what I've got set up running all the other trucks on, but I have high hopes for it. Again, this one is also very much stock. Nothing has changed. Same old wheels, same old cage, same old everything. Uh, it's got a striking resemblance to the FCX24, especially in size. I would say this is a 24 scale, this is a 16 scale, according to FMS, but the bodies are pretty much identical, so you tell me. <laughs> but being a 6x6, it'll probably have no problems. So we're going to go run it and see how it does. All right, guys, we're running the Atlas 6x6. Now, this thing shouldn't have any problems with this course being such a long wheelbase in a 6x6, but... Oh, there we go. Hey, oh. Didn't even get that on camera. Let's do it again. Filming and driving's hard, guys. I don't know. For those of you that do it normally, that's, uh, or, you know, normally film one handed while driving. It's difficult. It only takes practice. Yeah, we are just flying through this like it's no big thing. time but better there we go This is stumped by the old, oh, geez. the old wall here. Let's do one of those. Oh, yeah. All right. The question is when those tires come off. Is it gonna clear the bumper and make it up? No problems. Keep jumping these. There we go. There we go. Made it. Across the line. Here we have it, guys. The Atlas 6x6. This one is bone stock, never been modded. Uh, it's a really capable truck. I'm not a huge fan of 6x6s. Let me know down in the comments if you're a big fan of 6x6s. It's nothing against them, they just seem so unruly and long that's hard to actually crawl with them. But as far as capability goes, they've definitely got what it takes. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.